Okay. So what we're going to do now is start looking at the difference between percentage and percentile under the curve, because these are the two basic types of questions. So let's talk about where we are. We have a set of data, and the data is normally related. And we know that that means we have a little bit at one end, a little bit at the other end, and a whole lot in the middle. And again, what am I talking about here? Heights, weights, test scores, right? IQs, shoe sizes. So many things are normally related. All right, you need to be able to draw a little curve for every question that we ask. And you have to be able to shade appropriately. So here we go. I always start with a little dotted line down the middle that is zero standard deviations away from the mean. In fact, this represents the mean. Now, what do we know? We know that plus or minus three standard deviations is about 99% of the data. It's actually 99.7%. But hey, if you're at a cocktail party, 68, 95, 99. It's not 68.2695, you don't understand what I'm saying. 68, 95, 99. You should know that. You should drop that at your next, uh, like I said, next cocktail party. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, while it is not drawn perfectly, this is a symmetrical curve. So the distance from zero to one is the same as zero to negative one, one to two, negative one to negative two, you know what I'm saying. The numbers here represent the Z values. These are the Z values. The area inside the curve, that's your percentile. And this is really it. And how is all of this related? This formula right here. Now you do not have to memorize that. That is given on every test. It's given on the AP exam. But that is the central formula for this problem. All right. So we're going to do two questions in this video. And these two questions are essentially the foundation for all of this. And then everything on the test, everything on every test is going to be some version of these two questions. Okay. All right. So let's start with, I'm just going to make up a mean. Let's say we have a mean on a test of 84.5 with a standard deviation of 2.7. Okay. What are we doing here? We're going to ask two questions. And then we're going to use table A. Okay, we're going to use table A. All right, question number one. What percentile is an 87.8? And then question number two, what score, score <laughs> is the, I don't know, make up a number, 40th percentile? Okay, what score is the, do you see the difference between those two questions? Here's the way I talked about it the other day. Do you remember when you took trigonometry? And I said, what is the sine of 30 degrees? And you said one half. And then I said, what is the angle whose sine is one half? And you said 30 degrees. Remember doing that? The same thing here. The exact same thing. What percentile is this score? What score is this percentile? And the answers for both of these problems are in the back of every statistics book ever made, the standard normal tables. I also uploaded these to the downloads section of your portal page. So we just go to table A, and we're happy. 
All right. Well, the first thing we're going to do in each of these, it's a, it's a three-step problem. Okay? Find me table A. All right. Three steps for all these problems. One, find your Z. Now, in this case, yeah, same thing. Find your Z. Two, draw and shade. Three, answer the question. That's it. Three steps. Can we do it? Yes. Yeah. It's not coming up here. It's somewhere in the back there. There should be a table A. All right. Okay, so what score is the 40th percentile? So here we go. All right, I'm sorry. What percentile is 87.8? Let's start here. Step one is Z. Z. So here we go. Z equals 87.8 minus 84.5 divided by 2.7. Don't worry about it. So, okay. So where's my calculator? Here it is. There's no secret here. Just put those numbers into your calculator. So here we go. Uh, 87.8 minus 84.5. Enter. Divided by 2.7. You should get 1.22. I hope. Approximately. And we'll round the Z's to the nearest hundredth because that's the way table A works. Okay, now I draw a picture. I'm not gonna answer the question yet. Draw a picture. College board, Mr. Ulrich, me, we all want you to draw the picture. Here we go. Good. Little baby normal curve. Now where is 1.22? To the right or left of the center. It's gonna be to the right. Now, label it. Do I shade left or right? Well, what's the question asking? What percentile? What is the definition of a percentile? It's the number of kids who are below you. So I shade to the left. Now, sometimes we shade to the right. I might say, what uh, score represents the top 10%? then we want to shade to the right. How about what percentage score between two scores? Then you shade right in the middle. Is it average percentile? Yes, I'm always left. Okay, 1.22. Now, we answer the question. Okay? We go to table A, right here. And I'm going to look up 1.22, 1 1.2012, 8888. So you can do this on your own once you call it up. But you should get here, now watch how I do this. This area is 0.8888. Now, that means 88.88% of the data is below 87.8. Now, what percentile is that? Is that the 89th percentile? No. You can't say that 89% of the kids did worse. What can you say? 88%. Percentile is always an integer. We're going to say the. So, what do we know? If you score 87.8, you did better for sure than 88% of the students took the test. You actually did better than 88.88% of them, but percentile, I want just an integer. So, never, there's never rounding. Not, not for percentile. All right, here. What score is the 40th percentile? What is the sine of 30? What is the angle whose sine is one half? You with me on this? Okay, same bleeping steps. Find your Z. Oh, how do we find the Z? We look up in the middle of table A, you've got to try to find 40%. So on all of this stuff, right? Because see here, I looked up 1.22 and I saw that it was 88%, the, the numbers here in the middle. Now I'm going to look and see 
find 40% and go find the Z that goes with that. And if I do that, my values are going to be between negative 0.26 and negative 0.25. Okay? So Z is between negative 0.26 and negative 0.25. Now, negative 0.25 is like 40.13. Negative 0.26 is like 39.89. I want to be the 40th percentile. So I'm actually going to go to, I want to make sure that I did better than 40% of the kids. So if I put my Z here at negative 0.25, that's going to be about 40.13. So I'm certainly at the 40th percentile there. Shading again. Percentile question, shade left. And now I need to answer the question, but do you see the difference here now? I know the mean, I know the standard deviation, and I know the Z. Can I get the X? Heck yeah, you gotta put on your algebra pants. It's been a few years, but they still fit. Kinda like skinny jeans. Here we go. Negative 0.25 equals x minus 84.5 divided by 2.7. So the idea, look, unlike AP calculus, it's not the math here that's challenging, it's the understanding. AP calculus, there's not much to understand. You find it in the slope, but the math is kind of hard. Here, the math is kind of easy, but you got to understand what we're trying to do. Are you getting 2.7? Given. It's your standard deviation. So we go 2.7 times negative 0.25 plus 84.5. So 83.825 is my x. And basically what we're saying here is that if you scored an 83.825 on this test, you did better than 40% of the kids. So if I'm saying, okay, uh, for this job, I'm only gonna take the top 60% on this test, that's your cutoff. And you got um, negative 0.25, negative 0.26 from the book, right? Yeah, from table A. And I'll show you, we'll look at table A in a moment, we'll go through that part in detail. So I was gonna say, why did you decide to do 0.25 and not 0.26? Because I wanna make sure I get 40% of the people. And so you gotta sort of think about that for a little bit and I'll show you that on the table. All right, but this is it. Every problem that we do is some version of one of these two problems. Every problem, and you'll see. I mean, this is what I want you to think about because you're gonna spend you know, the next two or three classes doing these problems, every problem is going to be some version of this. Okay? No. Okay. So this is how we roll. Standard normal curve, find your Z, draw and shade, and then do your calculation. 